Michael, and this is California. And over the weekend, President Trump took action to sign executive orders that provided additional enhanced unemployment benefits, assistance for renters and homeowners, payroll tax cuts, and assistance for people with student loans. And all these things are much-needed protections that expired with the CARES Act. But the big question is, can President Trump actually implement these policies and make them stick? So today, we're going to talk about some of the concerns around Trump's executive orders and if it's even possible for these orders to achieve their stated goals. Now, this is your 5-Minute Daily Dose, so let's make this quick. But before we do that, if you like this information, if you find it interesting, if you find it helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you can get updates when our newest and most informative videos become available. The first and most widespread provision in Trump's executive order is the reinstitution of enhanced unemployment benefits. Previously, under the CARES Act, people on unemployment were able to receive an additional $600 on their normal unemployment benefits. Under Trump's executive order, those folks who are on unemployment would be able to receive $400 a week on top of their normal unemployment benefits. These enhanced benefits would start from where the CARES Act ended. And that will be at the beginning of August. It will run up until the end of December, lasting till December 27th. So this is all well and good. And it will definitely change the calculation that both Democrats and Republicans have in their congressional negotiations over the next stimulus package and temporarily help out a lot of Americans struggling right now. But there are some very important caveats to Trump's executive order. First is that there may not be enough money to pay for these enhanced unemployment benefits. Under Trump's executive order, states will be asked to cover 25% of the enhanced unemployment benefits, meaning $100 a week. Now, the rest of the 75% will be paid by funds that are left over from the $44 billion that FEMA received from previous pandemic assistance bill. But according to Robert Greenstein from the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities, funds for the 75% of the cost that the federal would be paying would be exhausted sometimes in September. Another factor that may make it difficult for states to participate in these enhanced unemployment benefit programs is their own state's budgets. Cash-strapped states, already in economic dire straits, would be hard-pressed to come up with the remaining 25% not covered by the federal government, meaning that they would either opt out of even participating at the program at all, or if they do, be forced to cut funding from other public programs like teachers, hospitals, and government services. Another problem with Trump's executive orders are their potential legality. Many members of Congress on both sides of the aisle are putting into question whether or not Trump even has the legal authority to issue executive orders like these. One Republican senator, Ben Sass from Nebraska, said that Trump's unilateral actions are unconstitutional slop. Another, Lindsey Graham, just simply said that he would much rather prefer congressional agreement. On the Democratic side, Nancy Pelosi told reporters that Trump's executive orders, as my constitutional advisors tell me, they're absurdly unconstitutional. Unquote. There is so much disapproval from Congress about these orders because Trump's executive actions completely sidestep the legislative abilities of Congress, upend the negotiations that they had that were ongoing, and they do not even fall within the powers authorized by the president. This undoubtedly will lead to lawsuits, something that Trump even acknowledged at his Saturday press conference. Lastly, and probably most concerning are the protections and provisions that are still left out, left unrevived, by Trump's executive orders. Things like additional money for states and local governments, money for testing and contact tracing, and any additional money for schools. These things are left out because they do not carry the political flash and pizzazz that enhanced unemployment benefits have, but they are equally important and expensive. So it makes sense that Trump would leave these protections out if he was only looking for a quick and easy political gain. This, of course, is rather than using his position to help Congress pass a meaningful, well-crafted, and fully negotiated legislation that would provide the American people with many of the things that they are actually in desperate need of, but are not demanding. Instead, Trump has used his executive power to provide Americans with only things that they are demanding, but leaving out a lot of things that they actually need. When it all comes down to it, these executive orders by Trump are just band-aids to try to keep people from going over the fiscal edge before Congress can work out a more comprehensive stimulus package. This is primarily because Trump's executive orders, one, leave out a lot of protections that are necessary to keep Americans healthy and safe, two, because they are legally dubious at best, and three, because even if these orders are allowed to run their course, they will not provide the level of support that people actually need. This means that these executive orders are not going to be the pillars for American revival, but simply just undersized life preservers that will allow us to keep our heads above the water. 
This has been your five minute daily dose and I hope that you found it interesting or helpful or at least useful. And if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you can get updates when our newest and most informative videos become available. Also, we here at California, we know health insurance. So if you have any questions about your health insurance, leave those down below. We'll be happy to make a new video or a new post as soon as we can. Now other than that, I am Michael and this is California wishing you a happy, healthy day.